Moving on to the Quick Lane Bowl. This one's on Monday, December 27th. And we have got a a fun matchup here. Western Michigan against Nevada. Now, Nevada, there is a lot going on with that program. A Western Michigan favored by six and a half. This was at seven on uh, Wednesday, I believe it was. And it shifted. I mean, it was Nevada favored by seven. And now Western Michigan was favored by seven. It's come back down half a point. But Carson Strong, the quarterback, is not playing. Multiple wide receivers are not playing. They're opted out and transferring and whatnot. Jay Norvell, the head coach, is leaving. Uh, the interim coach is the running backs coach. And they still have not announced whether or not Matt Mummy, the offense coordinator, is going to call plays in this game. But he is supposedly going to Colorado State with Jay Norvell. There's just a lot happening with the Nevada football program. So it makes sense that Western Michigan, of course, would have flipped over and become a seven-point favorite. I mean, it's six and a half now. But, you know, Western Michigan, four and one against uh, winning teams. They're one and four against the spread their last five to close out the season. They're two, five, and one against the spread in uh, neutral site games. Nevada, four and oh against the spread in their last four bowl games. They're 10 and one against the spread as a dog, but this is not the same team. Uh, I I think, as ridiculous as it is, I, I like to fade the Mac and whatnot, but I think with Caleb Ellaby and that bunch at Western Michigan, like I really think that they are going to be, like one, they can run the football like crazy. But when they want to sling it around, they can do that too. And this Nevada defense is just not good. So I, I'm going to ride with Western Michigan, even though it is a MAC team in a bowl game, and just kind of hope for the best. It does seem like a lot of points, but I, I got no idea what to expect out of Nevada in this spot. Yeah, I, what's weird is the 14-point swing. Yeah. You know? That's what's weird. Like, like I understand that the line should have moved some. I understand the line should have moved aggressively. But two touchdowns? <laughs> Gary, that's... I don't know that I've ever seen that. This this is a 10 a.m. Central Time game in Detroit, by the way. So, well, for yeah, Nevada, it's a 9 a.m. body clock game. Yeah, they, they work under the assumption that nobody is going to watch this. Game. <laughs> like, nobody. 10 a.m. Central Time. I mean, just I'll, I'll make this clear. I would not bet one. If you gave me 20 bucks and said, I need you to bet on this game, I would take your 20 bucks I put it in my pocket and then wait till the game is over and I'm like, sorry, we lost. <laughs> like, I just, I, just, I just steal it from you. I just keep it and not make a bet at all. I think this is, this is the most ridiculous of all the bowl games because of the chaos that's going on. I think taking Western Michigan is the dumbest thing in the world when the point spread has swung 14 points. I, I would take Nevada here, but just because gambling math tells me you nothing is worth 14 points. Nothing. No coach, no quarterback, no nothing is worth 14 points. Okay, okay. So Nevada plus six and a half for you. By the way, they've got an actual pretty good gift haul here. JBL Tune. 750 BTNC Bluetooth, noise-canceling wireless headphones by Harman, $175 Best Buy gift card, photo slap life-sized photo stickers, backpack and tag, commemorative football, and other game merchandise. Like, this is one of the best of the entire bowl season. Like, they're just giving them a whole slew of crap. So, <laughs> I'm I'm kind of a fan of that. You know, Western Michigan and Nevada getting hooked up with uh, with some really fun you know, toys to play with around Christmas time. So not bad. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.